audience, the audience could see that I've schooled Rambo over the plywood here. It's got a carpet glued on it so that it becomes non-skid. And he, he's all right. So his feet on wood are not a big issue. And I've schooled him over the tarpaulin. So it's not a fear of something frightening under his feet. And the likelihood of the difficulties to load him has been a dark, metallic interior of a trailer. <coughs> it doesn't seem very natural to him at all. A place to go that brings out the claustrophobia in every horse that's born. They're meant to run across the plains with sight of a mile in every direction. With just grass to eat. Hopefully not be eaten. The lions make a living off of them by staying very stealth along the tree lines and in the dry grass. And stuff. So they learn what to watch for. And going into a close place that sounds funny and looks funny to a horse is not a terribly comfortable thing for them to do. So I think it's the sight of it more than the sound of the wood or the, or the fear of things underfoot. Yesterday I told you that I like to put a foot on and back it off. I like to be able to have control of the horse to the extent that my body can do that without touching the line at all. That's happening right now. Very good. So getting the horse accustomed to coming up off that building will right now. Getting the horse accustomed to coming up off the dually before going to the trailer at all is, is such a help. Because he doesn't want to fight that dually now. He's quite comfortable coming up off of it. And even without touching it, just my body language. So you can start the clock on me now. <laughs> that was 2.6. I thought the one yesterday was easy. to England and Germany, etc., they scout the countryside and they really find some tough ones. But, no. Somebody called him. Now, the first time, it could get ugly. He could try to go over there, or he could try to go over there. And then, if he does, the dually holder just gets tight. And when he comes to it, it gets loose. So it's his call. He's the judge. That is true intrinsic learning. That's allowing the student to teach himself that the place is okay. Not that somebody's forcing you in there with a whip behind you. And this business of taking the end of your lead rope and whipping a horse across the rear end, round in a circle, round in a circle, and then trying to run him up the ramp with the whip behind him is just ridiculous. They go in there with all the adrenaline flowing. They don't like it at all. This way, you can get a horse to find it for himself and come in because he wants to. Not because he's forced to. Okay. We'll go.
go a little shorter this time, and James will throw a kiss to him. No, Kevin. <laughs> Give him a little squeak, and see if we can get him to trot in like Caroline's horse did. <laughs> Dirty motor. 